I've been waiting for five years for the silver bar. One stacker on a journey to find silver. International stacker. What's up guys, International Stacker here. Welcome to my channel. If you're not usually here, or if sometimes you pop in, please hit the subscribe, smash the like, and help me beat the YouTube censorship algorithm. I have been waiting for this silver bar, is it five or six years? Like ever since I started stacking, which I think I did my first order, 2016, I don't remember. I've wanted and waited for this silver bar. Uh, oh my gosh i have wanted and waited for this silver bar oh that's my p.o box so we're safe okay Woo! are you ready someone guess right now in the in the in the uh comments what do you think it is what do you think it is someone guess i'll give you a hint it's 10 ounces for those of you who are new into gold and silver, the reason why myself and many people like me stack or collect gold and silver um, is because it's got thousands of years of being actual money. Uh, we believe it's a hedge against inflation, a way to protect our wealth and carry it through any economic crisis that might happen. And also a good way for me, uh, I'll probably use a lot of it for retirement if it doesn't go to the moon or I don't sell before them. Wow, it's smaller than I expected. Here it is. This is what you've been waiting for. Six years in the making. Or I guess that's five years. Five years in the making. Here we go. Mega. Look at this monster. I have wanted one of these for so long. It's the super old school Engelhard. For those of you who are getting new into gold and silver, uh, Engelhard is like one of the more old school, or I guess you could say vintage companies, and anything Engelhard carries a uh, much higher premium to it. I think with this, I'm going to leave it out so it gets some nice toning to it, but look at this monster. This is poured silver. Wow, and that's super sharp, um, but this is an Engelhard vintage bar. I paid about $5 over spot for this, which is expensive, but in a day and age right now where you can't get anything even close to spot, I figured now was the time to buy this. Cause before when I wanted it, it would be like five to $10 over spot and I could get silver like 99 cents over spot. That's like extremely hard to do right now with the shortage. So I figured, well, if there's any time to get it, now's the time and what am I gonna do? Make sure this is real and I didn't get scanned. So we're going to have to have a calibration. Now, I know there's a website you can look up, I think, the numbers and it can tell you more about it. So, well, this might actually fit. Oh, I think it will fit. Usually with bars, you have to use a wand because it won't fit under the sensors. So let's change this to, it's pure cereal, silver. Let's change the weight here to 10 ounces. And this is Troy ounces, guys. Troy ounces, don't get messed up. Make sure it always says OZT or Troy when you're buying. Will it fit? Okay, that's what you want. You want it in the green or yellow. If this is fake, it'd be hardcore red. So green, yellow. And let me just flip it, because usually the flatter, the better. Now see, it's giving me a faulty reading there. It's like really touching the sensor. So what I'm gonna do, it's, you're supposed to have some space between the sensor. I'm gonna plug in anyways, the Boolean wand. Now what I'm guessing is here in the middle, it's pressed down and stamped. So that's why the sensor had a good reading. On the back, it's flat and raised. So I'm guessing that's why it didn't have a good reading. So we'll check it with the wand. And this is called the Boolean wand. This is what it's intended to use this for. And we'll check this puppy out. It's fake, oh my gosh, it's fake. Okay, yellow, we're good there. And the same thing with the wand, you've gotta get it in a flat area. If you get it here, it can be difficult. 
Okay, we're in the yellow. Good. Yellow border with the green. Good. All right. So I'm happy with that. It shows that this is genuine. That's interesting, this pattern though on the bottom. Look at that. You know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna weigh this. Cause that almost looks like it's been like chipped away or something. Or maybe is that an acid or something? Let me, let's weigh this. I got scammed, let's weigh it. All right, so I got my, I had to get my mail skill cause my precious metal skill I have, um, <laughs> it maxed it out, I tested it. So I used to have to use my mail skill and this is what I do, I use guys when I send things to the, you in the mail. And what do I send to you in the mail? Gold and silver, I literally give away. If you've made it this far in the video and you're not subscribed, subscribe now. I literally give away kilos, kilos of silver and I've given away gold. So this is ounces, so we're gonna have to change it from ounces to troy ounces because the mill one doesn't do troy ounces. So this is 10.9 or 11 ounces and then 10.9714 um, ounces makes 10 troy ounces. So this is a little overweight and that's actually normal for vintage bars for them to be a little overweight. So it's point, um, one, three, nine, six overweight. So it tests the silver. The weight is right. Let's try that again. Does anyone know what this is? Is this when it came out of the, um, when Engelhard made this, made this, did they scrape off silver? Was it too overweight? And they're like, all right, we can't lose that much. If anyone knows what that is on the bottom, let me know. Because at first I'm like, did they scrape it to steal silver? Then I was like, well, maybe they took the top part of a real Engelhard bar and put it with some other type of metal. But no, it's silver. We tested it. What's your thoughts? What is that from? Is it Spalding? What is it? So what do you guys think? Was this a good buy? Roughly um, $5 over spot. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but this is a bad boy um, that I've always wanted. I'm gonna get to the next video right now. I'm gonna record it. And you don't wanna miss that video when it comes. I promise you, you're gonna love it. It's amazing. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that because I don't wanna ruin the surprise. Smash the like button. Please hit the subscribe like 60% of you are not. Soon, I will travel around the world again to get, find, and hoard gold and silver and take you with me. We just got to get over the last hump of this hashtag beer flu. All right, guys. Hope you liked it. And I guess I'll say catch you on the next one. Woo! One stacker on a journey.